Hello everyone. Um, I'm hoping I got this right. Um, actually, I think I may have to, let me see if I can refactor here. Okay, I, I think I'm streaming. Okay, let me double check. I don't have captioning on. I'm sorry about that. Um, I had to fall back to a new, um, well, a new old, an existing but not favorite, I don't know how to put this, a platform that is not ready for what I would consider prime streaming. Um, So I'm just trying to make sure that I have my, there we go, I'm trying to make sure that I have something so going on. Oh, good. Sure. All right. It looks like it is working and I'm capturing audio, which is all I wanted to make sure. Um, so. Uh, what happened was my power supply failed for my main streaming rig and I was going to fall back to my console but I couldn't get the webcam to work that I had gotten to work previously so now I'm using my MacBook which I actually have used for streaming before but it's not set up to do the auto captioning. Um, so we should get captioning as usual from YouTube, which is AI generated, um, but we won't have captioning on Twitch, which I'm sorry about. Um, I believe I can download the subtitles from YouTube and upload them downstream to the two PeerTube instances that I use, but um, unfortunately Twitch is not captioned. I'll try to fix that for the next stream, but I wasn't able to do it this time. Um, this is a game I haven't played before, which, as you know, I do a lot. Uh, it's called Molex Sintez, and I've been enjoying it off and on. It scratches the old chemistry itch that I have from having a BS in chemistry. Um, it's totally unrealistic, but it's kind of a fun... I'm actually not sure if it's a Zachtronics game. I don't think it is, but it's definitely like a Zachtronics game. Let me look at the store page on Steam here. It is a Zachtronics game. All right. So uh, many of the Zachtronics games are, like this one, about puzzling out how to make things and make things do what you want them to and so on. Uh, it looks like I, let's see, let me look at, yeah, so I have some solutions already. Uh, I'm going to uh, create a new one to do the various things. Um, this will change, actually, let me see if I can reset, actually. I don't know if I can without sort of hacking. It doesn't look like I can. Um, no. And I don't feel like hacking right now. Yeah. So uh, the thing that will happen because I have already unlocked a number of solutions is that I will have access to um, precursors uh, which you might not normally have in the game in the beginning levels so I'll try to be mindful of that but um, otherwise let's jump in because I want to show you what it is. So Zachtronics is known for these sort of puzzle like games. Um, so I created a new solution. I'm going to open it. Okay. So the deal is, the goal is 
is hydrogen peroxide, which is two oxygens bonded with a single bond, each one carrying a hydrogen um, atom, and so it's H2O2. Um, what you do is you, you can look at these maximum bond counts, which are true, they're from nature. These are the bond counts that you see in nature with these elements. Um, they should note that hydrogen is also a one. Um, uh, and then what you do is you can operate from these nodes with these different operations. And in fact, some of them are missing from this level. Like normally there's stuff in these, in these empty boxes. So I'm kind of limited by this level in what I can do. Um, but each one can do one of these operations in each step. And this is the step display. It maxes out down here. It starts at the top, it goes down. You want to um, optimize the number of nodes that you use up to six and you want to optimize the number of steps you use in each cycle and at the end of each cycle you want one node delivering the um, or outputting the target molecule um, and it can happen actually in the last step of doing other things um, so let me just show you how I would do hydrogen peroxide. So I go into the pre precursor catalog. I've got water to start with, which is H2O. I need two of these. So I'll put one here in the center. And I'll get another one. I wonder if I want to do... No, I think I'll just put them next to each other. Okay, so the way to get a bond to happen is to subtract a hydrogen from each one. So I want to subtract a hydrogen with the node one and the node four. And that's F if you see that here. So if I hover over one and I type F, it doesn't do anything, that's awesome. And I click, it sets that up and for hold down F and click in four, and that will make the bond happen. And I should be able to use the delivery in that line, as long as it's pointing at where the peroxide molecule, molecule will form. So I'm just gonna press one step play, and you can see that everything happened. It was kind of fast, but you can see that everything happened. So I'm going to do um, fast and go through it. And so the readout for that programming sequence is that it took me 120 cycles. And look, there are some people who managed less than that. So there are some people who managed probably two peroxides in each cycle, is my guess. Um, they used I used five modules. You can see that some people managed fewer modules. Um, in fact, some people that I know, this guy used uh, three modules, and it looks like I actually used four this time, not five. Um, or maybe I did four in a previous attempt. I'm not sure. And then uh, in symbols, I'm I'm the best so far, which is, I believe, the track up in the upper left, but I, I'm not so sure about that. We'll, anyway, we could keep editing to try to get a better score, like to reduce our cycles, um, but I'm going to exit and go to the next puzzle. Ethanol. Create a new solution, open it. All right, so ethanol is C2O1H6, and it's two carbons 
bonded to an oxygen. Everything's a single bond, so you gotta have a bunch of hydrogens around to suck up the extra bonds. Um, the precursor, we can only use ethylene glycol. And you can see that it's very similar, except it has an extra oxygen and is missing one of the hydrogens on that carbon. So essentially, all we need to do is break this bond and get rid of this oxygen and add a hydrogen to this carbon. So we'll do that. So since most of the operations are going to happen to this carbon, I'm going to stick this mo molecule right here. The other thing you can do before you start is you can actually move these um, nodes around. So they don't have to be in the positions they are now. And then as you go through the cycles, you can use A and D on a node to actually shift it around if you need to. I shouldn't have to, well, maybe I will actually have to move something in this case, but because um, <clears throat> what I need to do is I need to move, I'm going to move this one because I need five to add a hydrogen and six to delete the um, water, essentially. I need one to add a hydrogen here, and I need any one of the others to deliver. So I should be able to do all of that in one turn, one step. So let's see, we're gonna, actually I'll make C add the hydrogen. So that's R, or I'll make six add the hydrogen. I'll make five, delete the water. I'll make one, add the hydrogen. And I'll make two, deliver everything. So let's see. Boop. All right, and that looks like it worked, no error. So I'm gonna keep going. And again, 120 cycles, and it looks like some people managed 60. So they did it with two molecules, which seems weird because I don't think they would have the operations for that, but who knows? Maybe they figured something out. Um, two is my best score, five modules right now. Um, yeah, I don't know what modules are per se. Um, but anyway, uh, my best is three, but I got four symbols, which is again up here. Okay, exit. So let's do nitrous dioxide. Okay, nitrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, no hydrogens. What have we got to work with? Oh, the whole catalog, okay. So what are the ones that have nitrogen? Um, it's this one. I think it's, well, it's also this one. So I could take two ammonia and a water. Or I could try to figure out some way of adding four <laughs> hydrogens to this carbon and then shifting this nitrogen up and this oxygen down. Um, which seems sort of more traumatic than using separate, I don't know. Um, I have to get three hydrogens off of here, but there's a bunch of hydrogens I have to get off of here too. Ooh, I have to add and remove here. I have to remove here. This one I probably don't have to add or remove. It's hard to say. This I would have to add a bunch and then remove. Yeah, that seems worse than this. So I will use So this has them all laid out properly, and now the challenge is to get rid of enough um, hydrogens to make everything bond correctly. So this is going to be 
a 240 cycle at least. So I want to remove a hydrogen on one and two and three and four and five and six. So that's the first step. You can see there's one bond here, which is cool, that's what I want, but there's still only one bond between the two nitrogens. So I'm gonna stop this cycle and I'm going to remove another hydrogen here on, with one or six and another one with two. This is one or two. All right, so that's, okay, so I've got the molecule I want. That means on the second line, I can use any of the, um, these dudes to remove, to deliver the uh, molecule. So let's just try five, what the heck. So one, two, delivered. Okay, let's go. All right, so 240 is not bad. You can see it's below the first uh, peak here in cycles. Modules, I'm using nine. I think, I'm not sure, I still don't know. Modules and symbols are different, right? I'm using nine symbols and nine modules, which is super high. At one point I got six. Um, all right, so what are modules and what are symbols? Uh, let me go back in here, actually. So these are, precursors. so sure we'll just yeah we'll just we'll just keep going all right new open um amphetamine is a hydrogen or a carbon ring and then three carbons and a nitrogen so let's see what we've got here i think i want to use benzene for the ring. Um, and then let's see what else we've got. I've put it so that the one sort of working carbon is at the sort of the intersection of all the um, nodes, even if number four is blocked by the rest of the ring. And so are three and six and five for that matter. Okay, so I need now three carbons and a nitrogen. Um, I think I'm gonna sort of brute force piece it together with propene and an ammonia. So I need to rotate the propene, which is just a Q or E on the keyboard. I'm gonna stick it where it's supposed to go. And then I'm gonna get that nitrogen and put it there. Okay, so the nitrogen needs, okay, uh, let's see, two, I only have six that can see this carbon, right? But that's okay, I need to remove one hydrogen here and one here, so I'm going to get five and I'm going to move it over here, and I'm going to do on five and six, remove a hydrogen. And I'm just going to play just to make sure that works. Yeah, so I made that single bond. Okay. Um, for to remove the double bond here and open this carbon to bonding, I need to add a hydrogen to this. So I will take three and I'll move it over here so it can see this carbon and I will add a hydrogen. So that gets rid of the double bond. And now C is highlighted a little bit because that means it's ready to bond. It doesn't have, it's got one 
two, three in the hydrogen, and it needs another to be stable, right? The maximum bond counts are also the number of bonds needed for an uh, atom to be stable. So if I remove, actually let's leave one where it is. If I remove a hydrogen from the nitrogen, then it will bond with the carbon. So number two also needs a remove hydrogen, try that. Okay, so I've got carbon with three, a carbon with one, a nitrogen with two, a carbon with two, a carbon with nothing but four bonds, and then the ring, which looks exactly like what I need, so I just need to deliver that uh, with either one or four. Let's do four. So we're going to do one step. Nice, that worked, so keep going. All right. 120 cycles, eight modules, uh, five symbols. All right, so the modules, I believe, are a combination of the symbols and the precursors. Uh, and then the symbols are, again, there's five here, and there's, um, if we keep editing, five, and then three, three per precursors, right, is eight. So if I run this again, you can see eight modules, five symbols, 120 cycles. All right. And it's 120 cycles because the quota is 120 um, deliverables. Okay. Uh. GHB, isn't that the growth hormone? I think it is. All right, GHB, uh, y hydroxybutyric acid or butyric. Um, carbon, oxygen, oxygen, and a carbon with a single oxygen. I think it's gonna be two molecules. Yeah, we got that one. You see, it's very similar. It just has to be rotated. Like that, yes. Uh, and then the working end, again, I want to put that at this where the intersection is right now, just because that's what I, I need to work on. And then I need carbon, carbon, oxygen. So we look again at the precursors. Um, I'm going to choose, oh, this one's flipped. Carbon, carbon, oxygen. Mm, what's easier? Both acetone and acetic acid require adding a hydrogen to the oxygen and a hydrogen to one of the carbons. Two of the carbons? Yeah. Or I could do something complicated. I want to go for the least complicated, right? Um, let's use acetic acid. The reason is if I rotate acetic acid, I get close to what I need. And now the situation is that I need to subtract a uh, hydrogen here, subtract a hydrogen here, and add two hydrogens here and here. Um, I don't think I have enough. Uh, I don't have enough to do it all in one. I think I may actually have to move one of the nodes around. I'm not sure, but let's see. All right, so I need to 
subtract I'll subtract these two hydrogens with one and four. Test. That's good. So the upper half of the molecule already looks good. So now it's just this. All right. So the issue is all right. Six and five. All right. These these can both add a hydrogen to the oxygen. Um. I think two has, yeah, two has unfortunately a lot of work to do. So I need to add two hydrogens. Let's see how this goes. It's weird because this molecule is in the way. Um, okay, so one of these can delete the oxygen or the water. That looks good, right? Double single, carbon, 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 single with oxygen. That all looks good, so now I just need to deliver it. Um, I'm actually going to move this to five uh, and have six deliver and see if it'll all happen at once. No, it did not happen all at once. Um, okay, that worked. Let's try this. Okay. 240, some people managed 120. I don't know how. Um, I use seven modules here. It looks like uh, I've done six before. I used eight symbols. Two, three, four. Oh, maybe the symbols are the number of, I think they're the number of operations that I use. Because that's a, that's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I only used five nodes and two. Yeah, I think the, I think that, yeah, yeah, I think that's the symbols is how many operations I did essentially. Um, But now I'm confused what modules means. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, diethyl ether. All right, so it's two carbons and an oxygen and two more carbons. It's all single bonds and lots of hydrogens. Um, I'm looking at my options. I think it would be outright ludicrous to use cyclohexane and cut it up and move things around. Um, I think it's two propene and a water. I think that's my best bet. And I think I want to use, I don't know, I'm confused. Um, yeah, 
Let's all right. So let's let's get that central bond created, and then work out how to get rid of the extra carbons. So what I want to do to get the central bond created is I want to um, remove two hydrogens from the oxygen, and one from each of the adjacent carbons. So the adjacents are these two. The oxygen is six. So yes, that does the bonds that we want. Now, meanwhile, I need to add a hydrogen here and two hydrogens there. So okay. And yeah, so not something that needs to happen. Like I need to move four down. Alright, so let's move four down. So we'll do a that moves four down. And then four needs to Add two hydrogen. Ooh, this is messy. We're going to try to sort of spread it out. So, four, do we need four? I don't think we need to move four. I think we need to, all right, let's. No, let's, let's move four. So we have to add two hydrogens here and we need to add one here. So we are gonna move four. We'll move four, we're gonna have four add hydrogen and we're gonna move four back. Meanwhile, five is just going to add. All right, let's see. That is. Oh, four needs to add. Oh, dear. I've screwed it up. Um. Well, let's have four add. To this is getting ugly. Yeah. Okay. So meanwhile, we can delete the extra methanes, the C fours. So we'll have. Five and two delete their perspective their respective C fours. Okay, and then something has to deliver. So while four is moving back, we can have really any symbol deliver. So let's have three deliver. Oh, error. Oh, I don't have enough hydrogens. Okay. So let's have one deliver another hydrogen. Good. Keep going. Whoa, that's a lot of cycles. I feel like I could have done that better. Um, but let's keep moving. I have a lot of symbols. Woo. I've done it much better than that in the past. I wonder what I did. Anyway, you can also obviously keep editing and making improvements. And the thing that you would want to do here is potentially use an additional 
symbol or an additional node so that you didn't have to put everything on four. Um, how would you do that? I don't know. Very confusing. Anyway, it requires some thought, but you can almost always optimize the first design. And it's been a while since I've played, so I don't remember what I did for optimizations. And there are definitely tricks. Um, how are we doing? 35 minutes? Yeah. All right. Uh, chloroform. Uh, carbon with one hydrogen and three chlorines. The only source of chlorine we have is hydrochloric acid, which is nasty stuff, so let me tell you. But we have to do three of them. Um, I wonder if I can... I'm holding down some modifier keys to see if I can clone, and I can. In the Mac, it's holding down the command key. All right, and then I need a carbon, and there aren't any lone carbons, which should surprise no one because I believe lone carbon is either graphite or diamond. So I'm going to need to cleave off the, ox the oxygen by turning it into water, so let's do that first. So that'll cleave off the oxygen, and then we need to remove three hydrogens from the carbon um, so that there's room to add the chlorines. So we'll remove the chlorines and the, the sorry, the hydrogens from the chlorines and the hydrogens from the oxygen. So it's and then one more. So I think oh, I've screwed that up. Oh, I removed oxygen from the hydrogen instead of adding in, adding oxygen. So, we'll do that. Uh, okay, and then three has to get rid of that water. Oh dear. And now I need to add. <laughs> I wonder if I have do I even need to remove that oxygen? Let's try getting rid of that. Nice. So we'll use five to deliver. There you go. 249 and eight. It's actually as good as I've ever done with chloroform. And some people have used fewer modules, but yeah. And occasionally some people have done fewer symbols. All right, DMSO. Um, all right, central uh, atom is sulfur, two carbons and an oxygen, C2, S, O, H6. All right, uh, sulfur. Oh, this one's an ugly one, if I remember correctly, because the only sulfur we have is sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Um, we need to get rid of three oxygens and add two carbons. And so I need to, the one oxygen we can leave alone is the one that's pointing at three, so I'll probably repurpose three and move it a little bit. Um, we also need to bring carbon in from some direction because we can't like pre-populate it on top of where it's supposed to go so uh, 
Oop. Oh dear, I quit. Um, please give me a moment. I was using the command key and I quit instead of um, doing what I wanted to do, which was rotate. <laughs> now you can see the boot sequence. Boot! sure that OBS is capturing again. Yes? Okay. Um, and I was working on DMSO? I think it was DMSO, but I don't see... Woo, look at that! That's very complicated and confusing. We don't want that one. <laughs> Alright, new solution. Start again. This is not, this is not the one I, <laughs> uh, damn, so. here we go, this one, no, oh, I, I think I've discovered a bug, there we go, I haven't discovered a bug, I've just not done it correctly, okay, uh, methanol, this one I can put where I want it. This one has to get pushed in. This is even more terrible. Okay. So I can use one and two to add and remove the molecule. Water. Yes. Okay. I can move this one in after I've done that. I don't know if I can do it on the same instruction, but it's um, push and pull. So I want to push, which is W, right? So let's see if I can do it in the same. I'm not sure if I can, no. So I need to make sure that this happens on the very next step. Yes, okay. Um, Meanwhile, five needs to add two hydrogens to this oxygen and get rid of it. So that's R, R, X. Yes, okay. Now, sulfur is ready to go. <laughs> it's got, um, it's got two, three, two, three bonds? I don't know, there's a bunch of bonds it needs to do. So, I need to move two, and I need to, what do I need to do? Let's see, maybe I don't need to move two. No, I don't need to move two. I need to have two add. Is it add or delete? Oh, I need so I need six to add a hydrogen to that oxygen. Let's try that. All right, and you see the sulfur's already bonded to this carbon. Um, so now I need four to add a hydrogen and delete that water. Um, and I need three to get rid of 
the additional water on the right side. So it needs to add and get rid of. Let's see how that works. And then you need six to get rid of that water. Okay, the problem is this um, ethanol or methanol has shown up and it's going to interfere with the delivery, I believe. So let's try it. Because I think what happens is Oh, it was fast enough that it didn't. But you have to worry, you have to be careful because it might interfere with the order of operations. But it looks like I got it. Okay. So I have nine modules, which is one more than I did in a previous solution. I have 13 symbols, which is the same. Uh, and it looks like the best. Uh, although some people managed to do it in 240 cycles and they did it with a lot fewer modules, so something to keep in mind. Okay. Um, T. Cypermine. Okay. Another benzene ring. You can tell a benzene ring because it has uh, a double bond with every other carbon. Okay, and then a triangle of carbons, which is rare, I believe, and a nitrogen. There's something to me which it makes me feel like that triangle is under some sort of tension, but I think I, I don't know, I could be wrong about that. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to use propene and I'm going to bend it so that I'm going to essentially remove this bond, scooch this in, and then make sure everything gets bonded correctly. Um, so I need to rotate it and then there needs to be a nitrogen there so like I said I'm gonna add uh, hydrogen then I'm going to push it and then I'm going to remove a hydrogen but it's not going to be enough because this carbon will need uh, an incentive. It'll need to have one of its hydrogens removed before that can happen. See, there's only one bond there. Oh, I need to, maybe if I just remove, I think I need to remove from both sides. Um, so we'll have five removed. See what happens there. And I've messed it up. All right. Remove. Oh, I've got a triple bond. That's not good news. Let's not do that. Triple bonds are no notoriously difficult to get rid of. Okay. Um, okay, so when I encourage the bond is when I should remove the hydrogen. So let's remove from five up here on the third step instead. No. Oh, I made a triple bond again. Right. Okay, so I think what I need to do is move that. And I don't know 
what to do with three. All right, let's look again. Push. Just experimenting. That double bond sucks. need to attenuate somehow. Ooh. Okay, that's not bad. And then I need to, oh, but we're already into another cycle, so. It's there. Yeah, I think I do have to do that. And meanwhile, I think I need to move three so it can see this, and I need to move five so it can work with the knife thing. So I need to move three twice and move five once and then I'm going to have to move all those back which is going to fight all right so five needs to remove one hydrogen from the nitrogen and three needs to remove one hydrogen from the benzene ring. Let's see what happens.
and I failed. <laughs> oh, I moved the, I moved C too far. All right, so. Or three too far. Okay. Okay, not bad. Okay. Um, and we'll remove the hydrogen with four. And I think that is the output molecule. Benzene ring, single bond to a triangle of carbons plus a nitrogen bonded by a single bond. Yep, that is the correct. That's the correct thing. So then. Four needs to move. All right. They all need to move back to where they came from. So five moves there, four moves there, three moves there. And then meanwhile, I should probably use one more node to actually output. So we'll use C or six, we'll use six for C. So we'll do that. Yep. Lots of cycles. I could easily, it looks like, make that fewer cycles. But I didn't use as many modules as most. Um, I did, however, use a bunch of symbols. That's okay. We'll keep going. Normally, I go like through a playthrough of a, a significant number of puzzles, and then I go back and try to optimize them. Um, So, do we have time for aspirin? I don't think we do. I think I'm going to be done. I think being done is better than being thorough right now. I just came from the gym, so a little, <laughs> a little um, uh, influenced by the gym. Um, but anyway, uh, I am done, and I hope you had fun watching, and... Uh, I had fun playing. I was a little discombobulated by having all of these um, options to stream fail and falling back on the Mac, but it seems like it worked okay. So I hope your experience is good as a viewer, and I hope to see you again, and I hope you have a good week, uh, and that you take care of your family, and they take care of you, including your nasty animals. Mine is sitting next to me, draped over the couch, and looking very luxurious and unapologetic indeed. Mac, are you a good boy? You don't care, do you? He doesn't care. My cat doesn't care, like all cats. Take good care. Bye. <laughs>